checking to make sure I was wearing my safety glasses. He doesn't want anybody to get hurt during this demonstration. You can see what we're doing here, right? We got a bed of nails underneath him. We got a bed of nails on top of him. We've carefully balanced a cinder block, and I've got a sledgehammer. <laughs> protecting Frank during that experiment. It's not just top quality safety equipment. The first thing that I think about is that Frank is kind of like a big balloon. Okay, we put Frank on two nails, that's bad news for Frank. We put Frank on about 800 nails. And that spreads out all the forces involved over many nails, so each individual nail isn't gonna damage him. The second thing I think about is inertia. You remember earlier on today, we had the hammer and the anvil. And the anvil protected Brian's hand because it had inertia. Well, the top bed of nails and that cinder block have inertia. They want to stay at rest. <laughs> and the fact that they want to stay at rest helps to protect Frank. And finally, we didn't talk about energy today, but the sledgehammer had a good amount of energy as it was flying through the air. Most of that energy went into shattering the cinder block instead of shattering Frank. <laughs> so there was a lot of really good physics in there. And it's just a really great, great way for us to end our show. So today we talked about inertia, temperature, pressure. Those are all topics under physics. Physics is part of science. science. Did you have fun? Yeah.